big old bucket full of rats, mice, chickens, all that good stuff to feed all the reptiles today before we feed the king cobra. We're about to feed <sighs> the only snake in my collection that makes me nervy. Leonardo DiCaprio. Thanks. Whoa! Whoa! There you go. Ooh, listen to that. Whoa! Oh, oh, watch out! Whoa! Just about to throw this chicken in for Nadia, but I thought it'd be way better if we make it a little more enriching. A little bit of crocodile fishing. Oh, oh, come on. Oh, 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 she got it, she got it. Come on, come on, big boy. Come on, big boy. getting pretty wild today. Today, we're feeding a whole bunch of animals. I got a big old bucket full of rats, mice, chickens, all that good stuff to feed all the reptiles today. And I also have this big defrosted Burmese python from the Everglades, because it's a favorite food of the king cobras. So I'll put this right in here. We're only gonna be feeding Justina, the female king cobra, because Kevin, the big king's going through shit and he's not gonna eat. But in the meantime, before we feed the king cobra, we're about to feed. The only snake in my collection that makes me nervy. Let's feed Leonardo DiCaprio a little pinky. So I can see he's right there at the lip. A little bit sketchy, a little bit dangerous. Let's see what he's doing. Hey, Leonardo DiCaprio, please, we mean you no harm. Look what I got here. Is this something you- Oh, whoa, did you see that? He went for a strike and he missed. Oh, relax, relax. Oh, did you hear him hiss? Holy smokes, I've never seen him this angry. He's coming, he's coming, he's coming. Oh, did you see the strike? Oh, 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 oh. he's going for a bite. I think we just hand him right now. Here we go. Oh. I've never hand fed such a dangerous snake before. Rear fanged, mildly venomous, hog nose snake. Holy, holy dooly, look at that. Oh, that's actually pretty cute. And of course you guys know, Leonardo DiCaprio, he's not deadly unless you're allergic to venom, like bee venom, or any rear fang snake venom, because if you are, you'll go into anaphylaxis if they get a good chew in you. Of course, the rear fangs of a hognose snake is used to deflate toads when they eat them in the wild. Leonardo, I'm proud of you. The Revenant was a great movie. Titanic was a great movie. And your, your uh, consistent cameos in Chandler's Wild World will get you another Emmy. All right, I'm gonna put him right back in there. Secure. All right, guys, let's go feed all my beautiful reptiles off the Chandler's Wild World. I'm back. All right. We are about to feed one of the most magnificent snakes you've ever laid your eyes on. Her name is Justina, and she's quite meaner. But she doesn't mean to. She's just offensive. Look at her. Beautiful Indonesian. Oh, okay. Beautiful dandelion, as yellow as a sunflower. My sweet, sweet Justina, female king cobra, Indonesian king cobra to be specific, and she loves to eat other snakes. Their scientific name, Ophiophagus, actually means snake eater. So we're gonna give her a nice size Burmese python. She actually hasn't eaten like a month, which is uh, it's not that big of a deal. Reptiles can actually go months without food. Crocodiles can actually go a whole year without food, so. It's quite all right if they miss a meal. You ready for a big python? Woohoo! She is definitely ready for her meal. You gotta watch out because she is known to shoot out the enclosure sometimes and go past the food item. Might even hit you in the hand. Come on, come on. Oh, 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 sorry about that. Drop the head, drop the ball right there. Nice and easy, nice and easy. Come on, go for the bite. Come on, you got this. Delicious, look. Woo, come on. That's all you, that's all you, baby. I'm gonna put the rest of the body in there. So she can bite it if she wants to. She can start working out that meal. The thing with Justina is that she's just so defensive. At first, she's always in the thought process of defending herself. But as you can see, she's about to realize that's a good meal. Come on, bite it. There you go. Come on. Come on, baby. I know, I know. You're so cranky. Let's get you feeding. Look, the head is right over there. There you go. Oh my goodness, did you see that? She went right for the head. Holy smokes! She went right for the head, pinned it, and now she's chewing on that head, misturing her venom. 
Ooh. And she's growling right now too. I'm gonna try and keep myself still because she could easily let go of it, turn around and strike me. She's keeping her eye on me. She's actually cock eyeing me. I'm gonna get my snake hook out of there so I don't disturb her while she eats. Look at that, holy smokes. I'm gonna take the camera from my brother for a second so I can get you guys a little bit closer without endangering him. Ooh, listen to that. Listen to that growl. Ooh, she's like, no, I will eat in private. Holy smokes. That's a real king right there. Wow. All right, Justina, we're gonna let you be. Let her start chewing down that food. We'll come back to her in a second, get some cool B-roll. In the meantime, let's feed some other venomous reptiles. All right, Senor Pepe is hanging out right here. It looks like he's hiding behind his hide right now. He seems to be in a great mood today. We'll offer him this big rat. Hopefully he chomps down on it. Come on. Come on, Pepe. Whoa! Come on, Pepe. Okay, here he comes. He's actually coming around. Come on, Pepe. Ooh, come on. Whoa! Did you see that? He is quite the striker. We're gonna let him be. Let's make sure that's nice and secure. We'll move on to the next snake. Most of the snakes seem to be going through sheds, so we're gonna have to skip a couple guys. But this forest cobra is actually just fresh out of shed, and you can actually see we've got a huge skinner right here. Look at this. That snake's getting big. She's just so shy. Usually forest cobras are one of the most victorious snakes on the planet for handling, but this female's not too bad. Want some food? Ooh, come on. Come on, you want some food? Oh, 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 you gotta be quicker than that. Oh, 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 you gotta be quicker than that. Come on, don't be shy. It's just a little rat. There you go, sweetie. We'll put an extra one in there right for her so she can chow down. Look how she raises that rat up. She's such a good looking snake. That is the longest true cobra on the planet, whereas a king cobra is not a real cobra. And it's not really considered part of the Naya family. So this would be the biggest cobra on the planet. All right, so let's get this lock right on here. Yellow Indicana is going through shed. Boa Constrictor is going through shed, trying to offer him a chicken, didn't want to eat it. So we'll have to move on and feed him when they're out of shed. Let's feed some other snakes right down the alley. Let's just take a look right over here. Justina is still chowing down like crazy, almost done with this python, she's halfway. Let's see, we got, we have a gorgeous Arizona black rattlesnake right here. This little beauty right here loves to eat the food all the time. All right, let's feed this little guy. You can see if you come real close, this thing is just beautiful. Gold speckling going down the back, gorgeous black coloration. So it's a nice contrast. All right, so I'm just gonna open this up a little bit. Got a wrap for you. Whoa, did you see that strike? We're gonna get a lock on this, make sure it's nice and secure. Leave the little Arizona black rat little alone. I also have my green anacondas right here. These little ladies love to eat. They're usually little piggies. You can see this one's coming out right here. Is this big enough? Whoa! You hungry? Hello? Whoa! All right, so let me grab this female out. I gotta separate them so they don't steal each other's meals. You can see my green anacondas are getting some nice size of them. Looking chunky, looking meaty. Just wanna give them a big kiss. We're gonna put her in this tank right over here. All right, let's feed the little Papuan black snake, little crazy flighty snake. One of the snakes in here, I don't tend to take out too often just because with its ability to fly around and where are you hiding her? Here in the back. Hello? Oh. Hello? Oh. I hear you. Oh, oh, watch out. Woo -hoo -hoo. Papuan black snake does not, oh, does not mess around. Did you see that? Come on, grab the food. Come on, you're going upside down, you crazy snake. You're so fast and speedy. Just grab the rats right there. All right, this snake is all over the place. Let's not sustain a bite that's closest. Make sure it's nice and secure. And let that spazzy little Papuan black snake settle down. Holy smokes, I love that snake so much. <laughs> Let's take out Big Bertha, the monopod cobra. Holy sunshine in here to eat. And Big Bertha can have the box with the rat already prepped. Take this out. Oh, relax. Relax. Let's look at this. Oh, wait. You guys stop fighting each other. You guys get so cranky. Come here. There we go. Relax. I'm not even taking you out. You guys are so crazy. You can talk about it later. Big Bertha, the first ever monocle cover that I worked with as a little kid. Obviously, it takes a lot of experience to be able to work with these animals. I got an early start, which I'm blessed for, but definitely go the smart route, work with a mentor, go to a zoo, volunteer, get your time in. Don't try to just get venomous reptiles and wing it. 
you can end your life with one mistake. So definitely find yourself a mentor, take the slow route, learn a lot. I'm gonna put a carabiner on this, lock it up. But well, let's first throw another rat to this monocle cover here. Oh, how about a rat? Come on, come on, come on, you're missing, you're missing, there you go. See, not too bad, nice rat. You guys have some privacy. <laughs> Relax, just eat the rat. Thank you, thank you. All right, I'm gonna leave you alone, Cranky Pants. All right, next, we're gonna take care of the Colette Snake from Australia, the Death Adder from Australia, also the Kaboom Vipers. So we have some of those venomous snakes on the planet, some of the fastest striking snakes on the planet. Just so much fun in one stack right here. All right, so let's see. Mr. Meatball looks like he is going ballistic. Right <laughs> Everyone's going crazy. Everyone's going crazy right now. Everyone, relax, goose faba. Goose faba, my baby, goose faba. All right, so we're gonna unlock Meatball, the Colette Snake from Australia, found in the heart of Queensland, Australia. These guys have such a potent venom, it will take away your sense of smell and taste, potentially, for your whole life, or up to five years at the least. I know you're gonna get crazy in a second once you smell it. Ooh, hoo -hoo! Meatball, you crazy boy, look at you. Beautiful red belly, and that's why you got the name Meatball. All right, we're gonna close this up, let him have his privacy so he can eat his meal. Let's move on to the next snake. Woo. Now we have King Tut at the bottom, actually. King Tut's a little crazy. King Tut, you hungry? Woo -hoo -hoo. Come on, King Tut. Come on. Come on. Woo -hoo. Look at that. He's always a nutty little snake. He's gonna need a big six foot vision cage soon. Let's lock that up, secure it. King Tut, the Egyptian cobra, believed to be the same snake used for suicide by Cleopatra. But I wasn't there, and I don't think anyone alive today was there either. So, let's lock this up. Secure, that's not secure. Duck, can't twist. Secure. You can see the Death Adder hanging out right there. Nothing too big, just a good enough meal to keep this Death Adder satisfied for a week or two. Watch how fast the snake will strike. Whoa! You didn't even see it happen, it was so fast. Fastest striking snake on the planet and in the top 10 most venomous on the planet. Extremely powerful neurotoxic venom, a snake. That'll make you sweat. Honestly, it's just really humid and hot, and I was walking outside, that's why I'm sweating. This snake doesn't really scare me. It's actually quite a, a, quite a nice individual. I, I don't even think I named him. Comment below, what should we name my death adder? Some of these snakes I end up not naming, and I don't think I ever gave him a name. Comment below, what do you think I should name this beautiful common death adder? Gorgeous red colorations. Let's see. All right, you two, leave each other alone. I see you finished your food and you're going towards the other one. Leave them alone. Ooh, Justina is at the last bit of this python, a nice big meal to help her get back on track after being in shed for such a long time. And look, her scales are all spread apart. Nice, big, fat meal. Oops, look at that, such a beautiful snake. Little Kobe Dinkleman, my black mamba, that Dingo Dinkleman from Africa sent me a while back in, big and beautiful, eating little weaned rats and rat pups. Let's see if he comes out for some food. You hungry? Huh? Come on, Kobe. One of the fastest striking snakes out there, and this is definitely the most dangerous snake on the planet to handle. Look at that, look how he starts to probe out slowly. He's checking everything out. Ooh, look at that, look at that. Oh, holy smokes. It is amazing that I have the privilege to get this close to black mamas and feed them. Look at his face. He's such a gnarly little snake. The typical coffin-shaped head of the black mamba. They actually have really beautiful eyes. It's almost like a light bluish gray. I'm gonna get him into the enclosure just in case he decides to let go. There we go. We're gonna close this up. He is getting big and he's getting very handsome. I don't know how, how Alice and the black mamba is gonna be able to resist this guy. Let me close this, locked and secure, good to go. Come on, come on, chase my brother, chase my brother. Oh, oh, nope, not much chasing, that was, kind of, that was a short chase. Wait, chase my brother again, chase my brother. Go, get my brother, get chase, get chase. Ooh, you can actually hear his jaws popping as he comes up for the food like a little crocodile. 
You enjoying that, Jack? Don't put me. I just gave you that food. It's so rude. You big boy. You want another rat? Huh? How about you come over here? Check out the king cover closure. Oh, don't oh, put that stuff. Oh, no, I'm going to destroy all this new stuff I got. Good boy. That's a good meal, huh? You're such a good boy. Check out the King Cobra enclosure. We're just about done. I'm just waiting for all this UVB lighting to be installed at the top. And then we're gonna get some heat lamp fixtures coming down. And then basically by the end of tomorrow, I should be able to put some mulch in there and start getting this big bad boy set up for big boy Kevin right over there. Ooh, I'm so happy I can finally get Kevin into his mansion. I grew up in a home smaller than this. You lucky King Cobra. What, are you gonna bite me? Don't bite me, be nice. You know you're a good boy, I raised you from a baby. Look at him. I love Jack so much, he's like a little dinosaur. Mm. All right, he stinks, let's come back. Ooh, we got the South American rattlesnakes looking good, ready for a meal. These guys are always snappy. Let's give him a little rat. Come on, nice and easy, nice little meal. Come on. Oh, okay, all right. Going straight for the engulfing. That's good. Ooh, what are you doing, boy? Whoa! Let's see, come on, come on, come on. There you go, you crazy little rattlesnake. We're gonna close it, because he is more interested in letting us know who's boss than eating that food right now. I'm gonna lock this, secure it, there we go. All right, guys, let's feed Allison the black mamba. See if she's hungry, you want some rat? Come on, come get some rat. Ooh, hoo, hoo. come on, Oh, she just tagged it like nothing. There you go. These tongues aren't long enough to play too many games. All right, let me go. Where are you going, baby? You stay right in there. All right, I'm going to lock this and secure it. We're going to let Allison be. Let's go feed Nadia the Siamese crocodile. I was just about to throw this chicken in for Nadia, but I thought it'd be way better if we make it a little more enriching. Right, Nadia? All right, Nadia, you ready? Come on, Nadia. Oh, Nadia, wrong way. Come on. <laughs> Where are you going? Oh, I know you're being sneaky. Oh, 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 come on. Oh, 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 she got it, she got it, she got it. Oh, 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 and she took the chook. How do you like that, Nadia? Ooh, nice big meal. Whole bodied prey items. That is the key to raising up healthy crocodiles. So this will help her get nice and healthy. And then when we get her a mate in the future, she'll be ready to produce eggs. Oh, what are you doing? Are you gonna get out of the water? Where are you going, silly? Do you want this piece of chicken? Or should I give it to... Maybe Miss Toothy to jump for. Yeah, she's got a mouthful. Let's see. <laughs> Miss Toothy, <laughs> something told me you were hungry. What's up, berries? I'll feed you in a second. Miss Toothy, is that mere morsel not good enough for you? What do you think, Aries? I think I'll just throw it into Aries' mouth. Oh, well, you snooze, you lose. He gets it. There you go. Nice little treat if you figure out that's under your chin. <laughs> you almost got it, bud. Come on. One more, come on, Aries. There you go, before Miss Toothy steals it. Don't worry, Miss Toothy. I got two extra chickens for you guys. Come on, Aries. Come on, Aries. Come on, Aries. Come on, come on, big boy. Come on, big boy. Woo -hoo -hoo. How you like that chicken, huh? Good boy. Nice little snack. Let me make sure your girlfriend gets a nice piece too. Come on, want this? Woo, you guys share. Come on. Oh, look at her smashing that chicken. God, I love these crocodiles. I will see you guys on the next one. Stay beautiful, stay safe, and most of all, follow your dreams. Stay passionate about what you love. I love hanging out with animals. I love husbandry, wildlife. I love working with crocs. I'm following my dreams, and you should too. I love you guys. I'll see you on the next one.